Hi guys, Chip Dillard and Matt Lovell again with ThermalHunting.com and Warrior Tripods. We just wanted to talk about a few of the products. We've had questions asked to us about what is the best entry level thermal scope and what is the best entry level scanner. So we thought we'd just talk about a few of the products that are available here at ThermalHunting.com in Warrior, Alabama. Uh, the website is where they sell a lot of stuff, but you can also come in here to the store and put your hands on items and, and get, to, get to look through scopes and scanners. So what do you think? Let's start with some scanners, yeah. Matt. Yeah, with that being said, when people say entry level, you know, they want to get, they want to get in those scanners and scopes you know, for a great price and not sink a whole bunch of money in. They're starting out hunting, something like that. So mm -hmm. we've got a good lineup for them to look at here. And That's the first the, here that you're holding there is a is the Rix. Is the pot? You know, it's the pot. Yeah, oh, the, the pocket scanner from Rix. Yeah, Pocket K2. So you can actually get this scanner for four ninety nine. Yeah, five hundred bucks for a scanner. Great entry level price. Is great so. and. You've heard me say a million times, you'll miss half the coyotes out there in front of you if you don't have a scanner. So if you're, you know, pig hunting, you can get away without a scanner, but coyote hunting, you need, you need a scanner. So if, if you can't afford to step up and get a, like the Pulsar, you know, Telos, then get one of these, 500 bucks. Let's see, what else we got yeah. as far as scanners? Have we got another scanner, and what, what's this one? Yeah, that's the that's the IRA Finder. Okay. So that one's going to be you can get this one for twenty four ninety nine. It's a six forty resolution scanner. Uh, the resolution on this on the five hundred Rix is not going to be six forty, but this one's twenty four ninety nine as far as price. It's a very good scanner. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually spend more money on scanners, so it's a great price for a six forty scanner for sure on this IRA Finder. So yeah. And then of course Pulsar has their line of scanners. This is the new Telos XG50, relatively new. It is. Uh, it you is. Know, I still have my 640 own. resolution. Yeah. So. And then this is the one with the range finder on it. It is. And you know Matt was making a good point a little while ago about if you've got a scanner with a range finder, you don't necessarily need a, scan a scope with a range finder if you can scan with a range finder. So these are what like what are the price points on these? Well, if you if you want with that range finder there, the Telos XGLRF, that's going to come in at three thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Okay, so right at uh, yeah. four. And the and the the Telos without the LRF, you'd be looking at about thirty seven hundred on that. So. Okay. So you know, it, it, there, there's different price points for hey, scopes maybe, and scanners. Maybe be able to get a better deal than that. You know, you talk to Mark here and see. That's uh, right. He may be willing to deal that day. So you know, it, the, the manufacturers run different rebates from time to time. So it's always good to check with the guys here at, at ThermalHunting.com. Okay, well let's talk about what do you think about scopes? Yeah, if you want an entry level scope, you don't want to you don't want to break the bank on that. Um, that one there, yeah. There you go. That's the Rick, the Rick Storm. Okay, that's the Storm S3, yeah. 384 resolution. You can get in this scope for 17.99. Definitely not a not a bank breaker. You can go thermal hunting for 17.99 with that scope. That's not a bad deal at all. Right. Uses 18650 battery. Get you three mm -hmm. or four of those and keep them charging all the time. Lasts a long time in there anyway. You know, you probably if you're gonna hunt all night, you probably only take two batteries. So, yeah, probably so. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, that eighteen six fifty battery is a nice battery. Records, has audio, all that kind of stuff. So okay, yeah. So then the next step up from that would be that one. Matt? Yeah, this is the Rix L three. Rix L three, you can get in that one for twenty two ninety nine, and three eighty four resolution. It's got the optical zoom knob here. That you can use on that. Okay. It's more looks like a more of your 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 rifle scope type, you know. Uh, it does come with a mount already on it. You don't even have to put that on. You clip right on your gun. Also, this yeah. Rix here, you'll notice it comes with an optional LRF that Bluetooths to the scope. You can get that for $500. So that's a good deal. Yeah. And then, so, so if you bought the scope and and you got the LRF with it, mm -hmm. you know, you're looking at around Twenty-eight hundred dollars on that. Okay. And you can go hunting, and you can, you'll know how far the coyotes are yeah. before you shoot them. 
That's that's, awesome. that's a good value uh, value price scope. Yeah, and then that that the leap uh, it does it. You know, you can get the leap L three. L6, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, L6. L6. That's going to be 640 resolution. It's more resolution. Yeah. So is this the is this, this still is, the L3? This is, this is going to be the L3. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I the L, might have an L6. The L6 is going to be $3,800 for that 640 resolution. Okay. And you can get the LRF add-on for it as well. Still okay. the same price at 500. And then Talk about the yeah the, the Rattler. Rattler V2 384 resolution. Uh, you can get that one for twenty one hundred dollars. It's a new scope that's come out by AGM. One great it comes with a mount as well to go right on your gun. One good thing about the V2 is mm -hmm. now it has its own battery. Okay. And okay. Charging that battery up, you can hunt all night on one battery with that AGM Rattler V2. The battery life is extremely long, and that's one thing that people really like about that scope. Okay, excellent. Well, they've got... And it is compact. <clears throat> you, someone could consider buying that and using it as a scanner, and then you would have it as a scope if you wanted. Right, So. right. Dual purpose. Yeah, the, the rangefinder feature is, is a great feature to have when you're out there at night, and you it's, it's, it's hard to judge distances mm -hmm. at night. It is, it is. All right, so we talked about... So we talked about some scopes and some scanners, didn't we? Yeah, we was going to talk about um, let's talk the about these callers. Here. Yeah. So. so we've got a couple of callers. One of them is the Fox Pro X24. These are these are actually two callers here, and also the Lucky Duck Roughneck that, that Matt and I both happen to uh, run both of these at different times. Um, the they both have a threaded a quarter by twenty thread in the bottom so you can put them on a tripod mm -hmm. and like this one is the Scout this is the Warrior Tripod Scout perfect for elevating that collar carbon when you're fiber out. really nice this is yeah. very light mm -hmm. I mean it's got a ball head on it really nice yeah so you can pivot it around you can get it up out, out of the grass especially rolling into the spring and summer months where you've got some of these fields will have higher oh, grass yeah. You, you need to get it up off the ground. So that's a really good, uh, that's the Scout. I forgot how much they are, but you can check on thermalhunting.com to see the pricing on any of these items. Uh, let's talk about, have we, have we really, you know, there's the Roughneck. Yeah, that's the Lucky Duck Roughneck, another call that they have for sale here. Mm -hmm. And that calls $550. Yeah. Um, it's a great call. Mm -hmm. uh, I really love the Prey Distress on the Lucky Duck Roughneck. You get a lot of really nice stock sounds with that Roughneck. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and there's also the feature of there's some full length hunts. It is. In here, yeah, in a if folder. You're, if you're not an experienced caller, you can just play a full length hunt. It'll yeah. do all the work for you. There's, uh, there's several in there that come to mind. Breeding Hunt 1, Breeding Hunt 2. There's a couple other ones in mm -hmm. there that you just run the, run the sound, Put the remote where it's out of your way, and, and you know, be ready with a scanner and your gun, and you're good to go. And, and the sound quality out of either of these is is excellent. We both like the bigger speakers, as opposed to some of the callers that are have a smaller speakers in them. We both prefer these larger speakers. Yeah, you hunt in that farmland, you want to get that sound on out there. So yeah. Both of the both of these calls will get that sound on out for you. They're bo they're both loud. So. Both loud and and both both manufacturers and also you know you got you know the Icatech has a line of, of collars as well that are that are good. You you can the value pricing is there's different price points for all the you know the e collars. Yeah. Uh, another thing on the scanner I forgot to mention on the scanner, like if you get one of these scanners, there's a, there's a, we got these lanyards available too for sale, they're like $20, mm -hmm. and you can just screw that into your scanner hanging around your neck. When, when you got the coyote coming in, you just, all you gotta do is just, is just drop this back down, let go of it, and get on the gun. So, yeah. very convenient, very useful tool. Yeah, you get a scanner from them, you know, you can get them to drop your lanyard in the box. Mm -hmm. You might could tell them about those, uh, the suppressors they're offering here now at thermalhunting.com. 
Yeah, you can also get, they're, a, I think, a Class 3 FFL they're dealer. Class 3 FFL dealer. So you can, you can uh, they're, they're, they've got firearms and suppressors here. That's two and titanium models there. These so. are, they're just so light. I mean, I, it is amazing how light these are with the titanium. And the turnaround times on those, uh, the approval. Yeah. Very quick. What are quick. they saying, like very two or three now. days? Yeah, well, uh, they had one recently, 24 hours. 24 hours. Now, that uh, don't take that to the bank. That may that's not happen. Be yours, may not happen but, for you, but there, yeah. you know, a turnaround time for me uh, on a recent one was two weeks. So. Yeah, that's very fast compared to the nine months oh, or yeah. ten months that I've I, waited a year, so. that I had to deal with. Yeah. So... Uh, but if you don't know where the store is, it's the store is in Warrior, just right off the I-65 uh, on Rouse Road, and we'll put the address up on the screen, and you guys just come by and put your hands on some of this gear, or, or if, you're, if you're out of town, get online, thermalhunting.com, yeah. check everything out. Real pretty store, all this woodwork in here. Uh, these Recently these, yeah. expanded. Yeah, I mean, coyote mounts, lots of guns, lots of scopes, lots of things to look at. Then you can come here and walk around for two hours and have a good time. Yeah, you sure can. So once again, thanks for joining us for Chip and Matt and thermalhunting.com and Warrior Tripods. Take care.